just because we are so busy since we moved here in Colorado. Now I'm working for tens, but um, I tend to work like more than 10 hours a day, 12 hours. Actually, right now it's my day off and I'm still working a little bit, finishing all my emails and um, some stuff that I need to send to the team. So nice to see you guys. Everything is fine. Um, Colorado Springs is so much different from Washington State. Uh, we have nice weather here um, throughout the year. I'm not really a fan of clear skies, sunny days, and things like that. I'd rather have gloomy days than warm weather. Just a little recap for those of you who are new to my channel. My name is Giselle Marie and my husband is Chad Douglas. We are an army couple that lives here in Colorado Springs in Fort Carson. Our station here in Fort Carson. We came from Washington State and um, that's where we started everything. Um, I am a nurse now and Chad Douglas is still in the army. But anyway, um, tomorrow Chad Douglas is going to be um, promoted as um, um, Sergeant First Class um, E7. So tomorrow I'm going to take you with me in um, his promotional ceremony and um, it will be fun because um, every time that he get promoted I posted videos of, of it um, I can't remember when we were in Fort Bliss if we if I posted a video but um, we were in Fort Bliss in Texas when he got promoted as a sergeant and um, in JBLM when he promoted as E6 um, staff sergeant and now here in um, Colorado he's getting promoted as E7 sergeant first class so that's gonna be uh, watch out for that video coming so far so good in my last video I posted our journey when we moved here in um, Colorado Springs from Washington State it was very um, emotional for me because I love Washington State a lot um, I love greens. Colorado is a little bit of um, in a drier side. Really dry no trees at all. Well, there are some neighborhoods that has trees, but in my neighborhood where we live right now, there's no trees at all. Um, it's very sad. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, li I like it here. I have a nice, good and um, paying job um, working as a home health nurse. Um, besides that, I am very um, busy. We were very busy um, moving in, um, fixing our backyard. That is one of my thing. I love gardening. So last year it was really, really, really busy. Are you ready for the day? Mm -hmm. Show me your, your office. Their office. Their office. Mm -hmm. Show me your award right here. That's uh, my, my impact award. AM. Impact Award when he broke the um, bowling alley ceiling. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, time to go. And Anna's bridge is stocked, unlike mine. I got nothing in my fridge. Whoa, <laughs> there's couch right here. Yeah. That's bridge. Why he loves it here. Yeah. It's like, I want to go to Danny's. <laughs> Chad Douglas. Yeah, Chad Douglas. <laughs> About a year ago, he's a 12 Bravo as a combat engineer. 
Uh, he's also really good at working out. One of the first conversations we had was revolved around uh, around his love of BCAAs, which is branched chain amino acids. Uh, I made fun of him one time for not doing late day enough, and he accidentally hurt himself in the process. But, but he's still out here straight, standing strong and ready to get promoted to uh, the rank of E7. And one thing I'd just like to say about that is in my time in command, one of the things I've learned is just how critical that rank is of E7 and how much the Army pivots around it. And I think he's going to be a great addition to that very important part of this uh, organization. And uh, it's been a pleasure serving with you. So, Sergeant Smith. All right, attention to orders. Secretary of the Army has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional excellence of Chad Douglas Manchester. In view of these qualities, and his demonstrated leadership potential and dedicated service to the United States Army, he is therefore promoted to from Staff Sergeant to Sergeant First Class. MOS 12 Bravo 40 Combat Engineer is awarded as his primary MOS on the effective date of promotion. Promotion is effective 1 May 2022 with a date of rank of 1 May 2022. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not hazy, it's your wife. First and foremost, I'd like to uh, thank my beautiful wife, Giselle, for loving and uh, supporting me, putting up with uh, my stubborn ass through all these years. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Lieutenant Colonel Garvey, Sergeant Major King, uh, Captain Fuhrbach, uh, First Sergeant Cruz, and uh, Sergeant Kim. Thank you for uh, pushing me and, um, to my full potential. I appreciate all the, the guidance that you've given me in my short time here at the SRU, and I look forward to uh, training, mentoring, and guiding soldiers some more. Oh. Oh. So I just got one thing to say, obviously, you know, SRU majors always got to have the last word. So when you become a senior non-commissioned officer, you are a leader for life, right? There's a big distinction from that. You are considered a green tabber, and I challenge you to always be that green tabber. Do not lose sight of it. You know, be the mentor that you're meant to be and make sure that our subordinate soldiers, NCOs, and enlisted get the best mentorship from you, but at the same time that they want to become a senior non-commissioned officer. Because I'll tell you, you know, as a command sergeant major, you know, we affect change. And as a green tabber, you affect change. You know, for the positive, and it's about taking care of soldiers. That's what NCOs do. Look, so I charge you with that. Congratulations, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, one more. Here's the new E7 in town. Cheers, baby. Cheers.